So yesterday I received many questions about my glute development. People were asking me, Alex, how do you get them popping out like that? What is your secret? What's your routine? So in this video, I'll be sharing with you everything that worked for me. And keep in mind, I'm speaking purely off personal experience. However, I do believe that this is very good advice nonetheless. So the first thing I'd like to bring to your attention is that I do have an athletic background. I used to compete in track and field and swimming. So it's not like my legs were nothing when I first started lifting. I did have experience with leg movements. And also, I'm a short guy and I have good leg genetics. So when you factor in all those three things at the same time, I mean, it's pretty likely that when you start bodybuilding, you'll have some pretty nice legs. And I also believe that the nucleus overload theory from Team 3D Alpha ties into this as well. And if you want to learn more about that, check out my interview that I did with Megan a while back. So how did I build my legs? Well, it was primarily through high frequency squatting. Pretty much no magic, no gimmicks, just squats. I wouldn't just say just squats. I mean, I, I'll outline my routine for you guys, but that was the main builder. I used to squat three to four times a week. I used to go heavy and I used to do volume. Squats, squats, squats. Always did the master grass, always did them beltless. And I used to do high bar squat and front squat. And occasionally towards the later stages, I started doing box squats. But for the most part, I want to say like 80% of my leg gains were acquired from squats. Not deadlifts. No, absolutely not. It was squats, squats, squats. And that's why when people say that it's the king of all lower body exercises, I mean, I think they're onto something. I don't think it's the king of all movements, but it's definitely like bang for your buck. And if you want to get some nice legs, to me, squats were where it's at. And that's why I have very high regard uh, for like powerlifting training when I talk about building legs, because I do believe it's the most optimal way as a natural. Now, of course, I could be biased in saying this, but I do think squats are the best if you want to get tree trunk legs. I got stronger, I got bigger. Now... In terms of an additional movement that I incorporated, which really, really helped me out, it was the reverse lunge. The reverse lunge was a huge, huge one for me, okay? I, when I started doing that exercise, man, my glutes started popping more than ever before. I would say it was almost equal to the squat, if not better. Uh, later during my lifting career, I came to the conclusion that it might be better for the glutes. Not for the legs as a whole, but for the glutes in particular, I found the reverse lunges were very beneficial. And I used to do them with uh, dumbbells and barbells. Dumbbells, I will grab the heaviest ones in the, uh, the stack, and I would just do it for higher reps. And then with the barbell, uh, back in the day, I just did 225. I used to do 225, five sets of 20. So that's pretty much how I did it. And the routine that I use exactly, I, I remember it. Actually, I wrote it down. I used to have a notebook where I wrote down my workouts. It was as follows. It was squats at the beginning, leg press right after, although leg press... It was mainly for the quads there. Thirdly, I would do a lunge variation, either with the barbell or the dumbbell. Fourth, I would do a leg curl, typically the, the hamstring curl machine, although I never liked it. I think that the ankle weight leg curl with the band leg curl spear. And then I would finish off with calves. And I used to do blast my calves with high volume. And that was my leg routine. It was extremely basic. It was very, very simple, but it worked. It was four exercises for the most part. If we're talking about the main legs and it worked. It worked very, very well. And I, I ran that for a long time. Eventually, I started periodizing my stuff and I got more into strength training and the whole like powerlifting leg training and stuff. But if we're talking about bodybuilding, the way that I build my legs, I would credit it to squats and lunges and also um, glute ham raises. I used to do a lot of glute ham raises, glute hams with bands, uh, with weight plates, stuff like that. That's how I did it. And then eventually, I reached a stage where my legs got huge, my, my ass got huge. And I was like, okay, I just want to maintain that at this point. So I got really lazy on my leg training. I stopped squats altogether, only did deadlifts and rack pulls for the most part. And the way that I maintained it was with reverse hypers, reverse hypers and pulls pretty much. You make me do, you make me do those two movements, it maintains just fine. And cardio too, cardio maintains my legs. I find that as a natural lifter, once you build your legs, it's hard to lose it. If we're talking about size here, it's hard to lose. Very, very, very hard to lose. It's been years of me being lazy. I still got huge legs. I still got a big butt. And if I actually did the hardcore powerlifting training, my legs would get even bigger. I'm not even exaggerating. That's, that's how effective that type of training is. So that's my advice. If you want to have like tree trunk legs, you want to make squats your foundation. I think squats are superior to deadlifts for the lower body. Absolutely 100%. That should be your base. I like the front squat. I like the high bar squat. Of course, uh, with naturally enhanced, there's more exercise selection. There's zercher squats. There's box squats. But I'm just saying the way that I did it, High bar, front squat, ass to grass, beltless, very simple. And uh, if I could redo it all over again, how would, I, how would I build my legs? Same thing I just told you. I would do a high bar squat or a front squat. Then I would hit some reverse lunges of some type. 
Then I would isolate my hamstrings with uh, ankle weight leg curls or band leg curls, or I would do something like a glute ham raise, and then I'd finish off with reverse hypers and sled pulls. That's it. You want to build big legs? That's what I would do exactly. That's just my personal advice. It's alpha destiny experience based, and it might be biased in certain respects, but I'm just, I'm just sharing work for me since a lot of guys ask me how I build my legs. That's really all there is to it. And nowadays I'm a lazy guy, although that might change. That might change soon since I have this home gym area and maybe I'll start doing some front squats again, but uh, that's how I did it, guys. There's no magical secrets. It was very, very basic. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a feedback down below and I will talk to you all next time.